When Katie was five years old, her teacher asked the students to describe the hero in their lives. Her hero, she explained, made Goggy's pancakes for her on Saturdays and Sundays. He taught her how to ride a bike, how to swim, and how to shoot a basketball. He took her to soccer games, and basketball games, and taught her how to pray. She wanted to grow up to be just like him. She did, in both business and in life, and I couldn't be more proud. Oh my God, you gorgeous. I had the privilege of being Tom's freshman year roommate here at Notre Dame. Roommates become friends, become family, and for that I am forever grateful. who have come here to celebrate with you. Your heart cannot help but swell with gratitude. This moment that you have planned for, that you have anticipated, and here we are in this moment, celebrating the love that the two of you have that started here at Notre Dame. I first met both Katie and Tom when we were students in a new graduate program here at Notre Dame. Katie, Tom, and I were placed on the same team. It is fitting, I think, that this is where Katie and Tom met and got to know one another, working on a team. Both Katie and Tom truly put the other person first, and that they prioritize family and faith above all. He's from the Northeast. He's a class act. And as everyone has mentioned before, our boy is wicked smart. <laughs> I mean, Tom aced the Chemistry 101 final without studying, and without even being enrolled in the class. <laughs> being around Tom daily during this time of my life, I learned the meaning of friendship and what it looks like to be a good friend. <laughs> I've dropped mine like 47 times wedding planning, and I'm just like, we have no time, can't get it. <laughs> Katie is an incredibly kind, generous, and thoughtful friend. Katie is wildly accomplished, full of joy and the right stuff, full of integrity. <laughs> Katie pours her heart and soul into every single relationship that she's involved in. They continue to be a team, pursuing their individual careers, but doing so together. They have been led in love, their love for one another, for family and for God to the altar. But time waits for no man, Tom. Katie has found her new hero. I could not be more proud to pass the hero baton onto her choice of life partner, you. 
you are the man truly worthy of my daughter. And that is the highest compliment I can give to any man alive. Congratulations. Congratulations on this moment. But also know that as you are sent forth, you are to do so as great ambassadors of faith, hope, and love. I, Thomas, take you, Kathleen, to be my wife. I, Kathleen, take you, Thomas, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. And Katie, I know if Tom is as half as good a husband as he is a friend, your years ahead will be golden. It is now my privilege and honor to introduce to you all Mr. and Mrs. Tom and Katie Van Schlockham. You may kiss the bride. Tom is a, is a thoughtful person. He likes to think things through. He likes to plan. He knew he wanted to work for a bit, progress in his career, get to a solid place, and would probably get married around 30. Check, check, and check. I just wish he would have mentioned something about Notre Dame winning the national championship that night, but that did not happen. The greatest wish I have for you as husband and wife is that you know the love, joy, peace, fulfillment, and gratitude that your mom and I have known during our 44-year journey together. Katie and Tom, we raise the toast to the past and all you have learned, to the present and all that you share, and to the future and all that you have to look forward to together. <laughs>